All right, welcome back. This is Dr. Monty with Geek Rehab. We're in baseball season. I want to go over uh, taping for some elbow injuries or to help prevent elbow injuries. This is uh, often the ulnar collateral ligament. When you're doing a lot of repetitive throwing, which everybody in baseball is doing, it will get strained, all right? Or actually, sorry, I say sprained for a ligament. And there's three, three stages of sprains. Uh, the first one is there's no tearing, but it's stretched, it's overstretched. And then it's gonna be lax and unstable. Uh, the second stage is you've got, it's even more stretched with possibly a partial tear. And then the third stage is this torn. All right, you're, you're done. Um, so I wanna not get to those points. I wanna teach you how to um, prevent that or maybe uh, stabilize it a little bit more if there is an injury already. So I'm gonna show you a taping with some kinesiology tape. Uh, it's very simple. The ulnar collateral ligament is on the inside of the elbow. It runs from your um, medial epicondyle, the bony prominence right here, over to your ulna. So on the thumb side of your forearm is the radius. On the pinky side is your ulna. So it runs right here. There's actually three bundles to it, an anterior, a posterior, and an intermediate. And um, they kind of tighten up at different phases of the motion of elbow flexion. But the late phase of um, your windup when you're pitching is when it really gets the most uh, stretch to it. So I want to tape it when it's in the most shortened area. So when you get the most stretched, you feel the tension of the tape to help remind you or cue you to be careful and watch that. The tape itself, uh, this kind of tape, kinesiology tape, is not going to prevent or resist your motion, but it'll cue you and remind you maybe to, hey, take it easy and be a little careful. Uh, all right, so this uh, taping is called a mechanical correction. Um, we want to do 50, actually more like 75 to 100% of tension. Um, and it doesn't matter which direction you're going uh, because it's not going to recoil when it's over 50% tension. So we're gonna take it from the ulna side. No tension on when you lay it down, okay? And then you really get a good stretch on it. Take it up and then lay the other side down with no tension. All right, so now when he goes back like that to throw, it gives a little more tension to it. Now there's another way to do this as well. There's that side. And there's another tape. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say whether one's any better than the other, um, but it's just a different way to, to do the taping. And that is with what's called an X um, strip. And you put it down in the same manner, but I'll show you. Same amount of tension there. But I have little tails here, and that helps to disperse the tension as well. Again, no tension on the ends of the tails. All right, so you can try one or try the other and see which one works best. But again, you see how that'll tensen up when he goes to throw it in that light, late phase of windup. So take care of your elbows, take care of your ligaments.